I've got something truly amazing to share with you. A brand new AI video generator from China that's taking the world by storm. It's free, it's open source, and it's producing some of the most mind-blowing short videos we've ever seen. Imagine being able to turn any idea in your head into a short video clip with incredible details and smooth motion, all without spending a single cent. Sounds awesome, right? Well, buckle up because I'm about to show you exactly how it works, how it compares to some of the other big players out there, and how you can try it right now at home. In the world of AI, China has been a major force for a while. Recently, we've seen some pretty impressive breakthroughs in text-to-image AI and even AI chatbots. Now the newest race is in AI video generators, tools that can create moving images from plain text prompts. Two examples that have been making waves are Minimax and Kling, both of which come from China. And more recently, there's Step Video T2V by a company called Step Fun, which claims to be state of the art. But which one is the best? Is it really free? And does it actually create good videos? That's exactly what we're going to find out. We're about to compare some results from these tools, talk about their pros and cons, and show you how to use them, especially the brand new model that is totally free and open source. Let's start with Hailuai Minimax, the rising star. One of the coolest newcomers in the Chinese AI video scene is Hailuai Minimax. People say it can rival Sora, a popular tool from OpenAI, in terms of quality. The best part is that Minimax doesn't cost you anything to use. You can hop on their website, type in a prompt, and get a short video clip up to six seconds long and in 720p resolution. Here's what you need to do if you want to try it out. Visit the website. There's a special link in the description of the video which takes you to Minimax's Hailuai page. Once you're there, register and log in. The AI will gift you 100 credits every day so you can keep experimenting without worrying about running out. Ready to create your first video? Click on the Create button, then select Text to Video. In the prompt field, try typing something like a panda playing the guitar by a peaceful lake. Below that, you can add camera movements at different points. If you click the pencil icon, the AI will automatically refine your prompt and include more details. You also have the option to select a model, but for now, let's keep everything at the default settings. Finally, hit enter and watch the magic happen. In a few moments, sometimes even seconds, you'll see a short video clip featuring a panda playing the guitar. It might not be perfect on the first try, but it's still pretty impressive to see what the AI can do. When I tried it, I was amazed by how well it captured details. If I typed in a prompt about Will Smith eating spaghetti, it would usually show a face that sort of looked like him, and spaghetti in the shot. Not bad, right? Sure, there might be some silly distortions, but hey, it's free, and it's only going to get better over time. Introducing Kling, the AI veteran. Another Chinese AI video tool is Kling. It's been around for a bit longer and has a bunch of extra features, like image to video transformations, advanced settings, and more. It sometimes generates results faster than Minimax, though not always. However, depending on how many people are using it, it could be slow too. To keep things fair, many users run the exact same text prompt in both Minimax and Kling and then compare the results. Sometimes Minimax wins, especially when it comes to stable faces and less weird morphing. And sometimes Kling manages to capture more of the background details. Either way, both are incredibly fun to experiment with, especially when you realize you don't need any fancy equipment, just your web browser and an idea for a cool video. Next up, there's a fresh face in the game, Step Video T2V from a Chinese company named Step Fun. They're claiming their new tool is state-of-the-art, which means it might be even better than anything else out there. People have posted all sorts of sample videos that show a wide range of possibilities, from a dog emperor in a royal court to a runner in a 5,000-meter race. The tool seems to handle text on screen, different camera angles, and more complicated backgrounds really well. Here's where it gets super interesting. Step Video T2V is also free to try, and it's open source. That means anyone with the right computer setup can actually download it and run it on their own machine, customizing it however they like. Of course, you need a powerful graphics card to handle all that data crunching, but if you're into coding, it's a dream come true. If you're not a tech person, no worries. You can still use their online demo and generate unlimited videos right in your browser. Now, let's talk about what kinds of things you can create with these tools. In my tests, I tried some silly prompts like Will Smith eating spaghetti, a beautiful Chinese model smiling with her hair blowing in the wind, 
a panda playing guitar by the lake, a boy transforming into Venom with dark lighting. Minimax did surprisingly well with the Will Smith prompt, capturing a face that looked pretty close to Will Smith and some convincing spaghetti scenes. Kling did a decent job too, though sometimes the faces were distorted or flickered. Step Video T2V was pretty good at capturing details, but sometimes it needed a second or third try to produce the best clip. What about more detailed prompts? That's where Step Video T2V seems to shine. It allows for camera angles, changes in background, and text on screen. However, you might still see weird flickering or messed up hands from time to time. Problems that most AI video generators haven't fully solved yet. On the bright side, these AI models learn and improve with more feedback so we can look forward to even better results in the future. Let's do a quick rundown of what's awesome and what's not so awesome about this new wave of Chinese AI video generators. First, they are completely free. Tools like Minimax and Step Video T2V let you generate videos at no cost, perfect for students and hobbyists. For short clips, up to six seconds, the videos can look really impressive, especially if you stick to simpler prompts. You just type your prompt, wait a bit, and you get a video. No advanced tech skills needed. Open source, Step Video T2V. You can download the code and run it on your own computer if you have the hardware. Here are some limitations. Limited length. Most free generators only give you a few seconds of video. Some sites require a phone number and not all country codes may be supported. Possible wait times. If the site is busy, your video could take several minutes to generate. Sometimes faces, limbs, or text can look creepy or distorted. That's normal in AI video right now. Now, if you want to know which tool is the absolute best, the answer might change from week to week. Right now, many people think Minimax has the best face rendering, especially compared to Kling, and Step Video T2V has some of the top results when it comes to more dynamic videos or tricky scenes. So there you have it. China's newest AI video weapon might sound dramatic, but it really is a powerful tool that anyone can use, offering free, open source or feature-rich platforms that bring your imagination to life, six seconds at a time. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and share it with others who love AI tools. And if you want to stay on top of the latest and greatest in AI, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments which tool you think is the best or share your own AI-generated video clips with me. I'd love to see what you come up with.